cost of FDM 3D printer hardware has reduced to a point where it seemed timely to buy and build a kit-based 3D printer. Of the many available options, the Trug ZX3-X38 printer kit, available from GearBest or AliExpress, seemed to offer the best hardware and features for the planned use, with scope for upgrade and development. Trug ZX3 features include 2020 aluminium extrusion frame, 220 by 220 by 300 mm print volume, 0.4 mm nozzle with 170 to 275 centigrade temperature range. Heated print bed with 40 to 110 centigrade temperature range. Supports 1.75 mm ABS, PLA, wood, nylon PVA, PC, and HIPS filaments. LCD screen and SD card offline printing. 20 to 150 mm per second print speed. XY axis accuracy 0.012 mm Z axis accuracy 0.004 mm The kit and an optional inductive sensor were purchased from GearBest. Shipping was free of charge from within the UK. The order was delivered within 10 days. Packaging was good and all parts were present and undamaged. Assembly is fairly straightforward, with the aid of a PDF assembly manual, and a helpful 3D animation, illustrating the entire process. Four pieces of 2020 extrusion, create the machine's base. 90 degree steel T-slot corner elements, are supplied to connect base extrusions. Aluminium 90 degree brackets, will be used, to brace Z-axis extrusions. Corner element grub screws are nipped up, but not fully tightened, to allow alignment to be adjusted. L-shaped acrylic feet are used at each corner, fastened by 3M4 screws and T-nuts. Acrylic feet are located and frame alignment is adjusted as required. All screws are tightened to secure each corner. Z-axis support brackets are fitted with M4 screws and T-nuts. Brackets are located to either side of a pre-drill hole in the left and right base profiles. The extrusions to support Z-axis slides are fastened through the base using an M5 screw. Angle brackets at front and rear of the Z-axis extrusions help provide greater frame rigidity. Two steel motor mounts are located to align with the center of Z-axis extrusions, and secured with M4 screws and T-nuts. Components for the Y-axis slide are located. V-wheel bearings and spacers are attached through the bottom of the Y-axis plate, using M5 screws. The plate is flipped, and bearings are secured, using washers to resist cracking, and M5 nuts. The extrusion used for Y-axis travel, is installed between the bearings, and travel is checked. The Y-axis assembly, is turned right side up, and installed along the center line, of the XY base frame. It is secured front and rear, using aluminium 90 degree brackets. At this point, an idler bearing for the Y-axis drive belt is constructed. The recommended method depends on an inadequate acrylic mount. Acrylic parts can be prone to cracking and failure under tension, so an alternative method was devised. A thin metal plate opposite the acrylic mount gives far more support for the idler bearing. The Y-axis motor mount is also an acrylic plate. It incorporates a limit switch. The plate is mounted at the rear of the Y-axis extrusion and secured with M4 screws and T-nuts. A stepper motor with drive pulley is fastened to the plate, and the pulley is centered on the slot in the Y-axis extrusion. A drive belt is secured to the rear of the Y-axis slide. It passes around the drive pulley, along the bottom slot in the extrusion, and over the front idler bearing. The belt is secured to the front of the Y-axis slide and tensioned. Rotating the motor shaft and drive pulley operates the Y-axis slide. Components for two Z-axis slides are located. A 
the breath nut is secured to 3D printed left and right X axis supports. Left and right X axis supports are attached to inner Z axis slide plates. Steel motor mounts are attached to outer Z axis slide plates. Inner and outer Z axis slide plates are bolted together using spacers to align V wheel pairings with the center of the slide. The completed Z axis slides are mounted to right and left uprights. Note the vertical orientation of the right side motor mount compared to the horizontal orientation of the left side motor mount. Z-axis slides are connected by the extrusion that supports the X-axis slide and hot end assembly. A stepper motor to drive the X-axis is secured to the left Z-axis slide and the drive pulley is fastened to the motor shaft. A stepper motor with a small feeding gear to drive the extruder is temporarily secured to the right Z-axis slide with a single screw. Assembly of the extruder parts will permanently mount the motor. A metal extrusion seat is fastened into the motor body through two front holes of the motor mount and the temporary screw is removed. A spring and small socket head bolt are positioned on the extrusion seat. An extrusion clip compresses the spring assembly against the extrusion seat. A single screw fastens the clip into the motor body through one hole of the motor mount. Two stepper motors and couplers are mounted to left and right hand set axis motor mounts. 8mm threaded rods are screwed through left and right hand brass nuts to mate with the respective couplers. Grub screws in the couplers are tightened to secure the threaded rods. The top rail extrusion is secured through three drilled holes into left and right uprights with M5 screws. The pre-built X-axis carriage and hot end assembly is mounted to the X-axis rail. A push connector is fastened into the extrusion seat, and the free end of the white Teflon tube is secured to the extruder. Note, the light blue box attached to the hot end assembly is the optional inductive position sensor. This is not included with a basic Trunk ZX3 kit. The pre-mounted X-axis limit switch is attached to the left side of the X-axis rail using M4 screws and T-nuts. An idler pairing similar to that used on the Y-axis is constructed and mounted on the right side of the X-axis rail. The X-axis drive belt is attached to the X-axis slide. It passes around the idler pairing, along the top slot in the extrusion, and around the drive pulley. The belt is secured underneath the X-axis slide and tensioned. The heated bed and associated mounting hardware are located. When mounted, the heated bed is suspended above the Y-axis slide by springs. Neural fasteners below the slide facilitate print bed leveling and fine height adjustment. For a standard Trunk ZX3, the last step of mechanical assembly would be to add a micro switch as limits trigger to the right Z-axis upright. As previously noted, this machine uses an optional electronic position sensor instead, as in the Trunk ZX3A and Trunk ZPA02. Trunk ZX3PSU and controller hardware uses a separate acrylic enclosure. The kit also includes a standalone acrylic filament spool holder. Again, some assembly is required. The spool holder uses a small section of PVC pipe to support reels of filament. The pipe is held by the small acrylic clip on each side visible in the image. Sides are connected by thin front and rear pieces and the pipe is pressed in place between the clips. Controller enclosure assembly begins with a ventilated base and PSU. The PSU is fastened to the base from below using short M3 screws. The controller PCB is then installed using four extra plastic spacers as PCB standoffs. 
the supplied Melzi 2.0 controller hardware is based on that Mega 1284P 16 MHz chip. It has four Allegro A4988 integrated stepper motor drivers, three integrated MOSFETs, a USB socket, an SD card socket, and LCD display driver. A fuse dedicated power switch is included. A divider to separate the main voltage PSU from the low voltage PCB is installed, followed by main enclosure side and rear panels. The front panel with LCD screen is installed, followed by the top. Access to USB socket and SD card slot is provided via an opening in the right hand side panel. Printer wiring enters via an opening in the rear panel. Mains power plugs in at the rear. Printer and controller wiring will be addressed in a follow-up video. There are some modifications required to this assembly for safety reasons. Some points about modifications to mechanical components and assembly methods should be made. 1. Connections to acrylic plate components should use washers to distribute load, helping prevent cracking or snapping. Washers are not supplied with this kit. 2. Try the instructions, reduce crude idler bearings with inadequate support. Reconfiguring X and Y axis idler bearings using longer bolts, some washers, and small metal plates creates stiffer, more reliable bearings. 3. Try the instructions, reduce to wobbly Y axis slide. V wheels don't maintain reliable engagement with the profile slots. Mounting V-wheels using longer bolts and some extra spacers allows two thin metal plates to connect V-wheel mounting bolts underneath the Y-axis rail. This prevents splitting of V-wheel mounting bolts, restoring correct V-wheel engagement with the profile slots to resolve wobble problems. 4. Trunk Z instructions leave Z-slides and X-axis assembly supported by only 4 M3 nuts. Inverting brass nuts and mounting them to X-axis connectors from below is a better method. Fastening X-axis connectors on top of the thick flange provides stronger, more reliable support for Z-slides and X-axis assembly. Bearing in mind the above points, this kit still represents good value for money. It has been tested by others to perform well. No doubt this will be confirmed in part 2.